Hey guys, this is Vicki with Southern Cross Recreations. I went ahead and grabbed some seed pots. Now the smaller ones I got at Dollar Tree, the larger ones I did actually get at Goodwill. Uh, so what I did is I took these little round balls, styrofoam balls at, from Dollar Tree, and then I had one wood dowel, it didn't have another, so I had this little fencing that I actually picked up at a yard sale and went ahead and took the uh, one of the pickets out. Now you can use a stick as well. You don't have to have those particular items. Then what I did is I just hot glued this directly into my seed pots on the bottom of them. Now be careful to let them dry. I did not. I was rushing the process a little bit and so I had some issues with the larger one that I was working with so definitely make sure you let them dry. Okay I started with a 12 by 12 piece of muslin. I just kind of frayed the edges just a little. Now you could do this or not do this. It just kind of depends on you. You can also do this with white fabric. I just kind of have that neutral tone and so I just use this um, kind of cream muslin. All right, then you're gonna grab you some black felt. Now you can get this at Walmart or at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any of the places. And then if you want to have these perfectly circumference, you can use a, a hole puncher, but I just did them free-handed. I really, did, it didn't really you know, matter to me that they may not be the exact same size. Okay, then all you're gonna do is you're gonna glue those to the front of your um, little ghost there. Now I did three of them because I thought I might do a little mouth on it. I tested it out and I didn't, I didn't really care for a mouth on it. Um, you can see it right there. It kind of made it look like a puppy dog in a, with a sheet on. I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't care for the mouth. So I took that off. You'll notice that here at the end of the video. Now what I'm doing right there is the muslin is a little bit stiff, but what I did is I just kind of glued little pieces together just to kind of where it doesn't, it gives it some form. It's not just flared out. Now these little styrofoam um, little pumpkins, I did get these at Dollar Tree, so you can try to check those out as well. Then I just took some of the um, little muslin there, pulled it together like he was holding the pumpkin, then, as always, I kind of had an afterthought. So I grabbed some of this um, packaging twine. Now this would be much easier had I not already glued it to the ghost, but I did. So just take a little piece of um, the twine there and put it around the top of your pumpkin. Uh, Hobby Lobby also has a kind of a ceramic um, pumpkin that's over in the craft section in the fall that you can use with this too, but it's just a half of a pumpkin, so you would have to kind of maneuver it to make sure you didn't see the half part missing. Okay, then what I did is I noticed that there was one of the pieces of the styrofoam right there missing, so I just grabbed some of the pumpkin paint and just kind of put it right over that. Now for the smaller pumpkin, I did a, I started off with a 12 by 12, way too big so I went down to a 10 by 8 and that worked a whole lot better it was still a little bit big and I did do some trimming there towards the end um, but again you know just kind of use your personal preference then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to just take and glue the eyes to the front now I did make a little crooked mouth right here and I thought maybe that it looked kind of cute but then again as I you might like it um, it's, it's not bad. It looks better than the, the circle. Kind of cute, right? But then the more I worked with it, the more it just, um, it didn't kind of sit with me well, so I took it off. But if you like the mouth, you can definitely do a mouth. So what I'm doing right there is you've got to have some type of um, closure on this fabric because, like I said, it just wants to flare out and not really have, um, you know, a lot of definition, like how a sheet just kind of hangs. And if you do have some other thinner material, then you probably wouldn't have to do that. Okay, so now we're going to make a little sign for our small little ghost because I didn't want to do and repeat another pumpkin. So he's going to have a little sign. So I grabbed my paper towel roll, cut some parts of it off. And remember, you always have tags if you have paper towel rolls. You can also use toilet paper rolls as well. And then you're gonna just cut that. What I did is I acted like I was making a tag like I've normally made because then it kind of gives me some definition and like some dimensions to it. 
Um, otherwise, I probably would have tried, you know, 14 different sizes. But because I did it just like the tag, it kind of worked out better for me. All right, you guys know I love these stamps. I tell you about them all the time. And I got these off of Amazon. So if you want the link, just message me links and I'll get the links um, to the, the stamps to you. Also, if you need supplies, just message supplies and I'll get those to you as well. Now, what I did right here, I normally use a hole punch, definitely way too big for this twine. So I just took a nail and I just poked it through the paper towel um, tag. Then I just threaded my twine through it, did a knot on the back and did the same thing for the other side. That looks as if he's got little arms and he's gonna be holding this little sign. Is that not adorable? I thought it was so cute. Okay, so and the next thing you're gonna do is, again, you're going to get in some little um, places to where he's going to hold this, kind of make him look like he has some arms. I still have my little mouth on there. Again, I really, really tried. I left them on there just so that I could see if I could work with them. For some reason, I just didn't like him to have a mouth. So I did take it off, but again, you can always um, make a mouth of your choosing. Okay, then I just kind of hot glued my little sign to what I anticipated to be his little arms. Once you get that, you're going to just kind of fold it over so you don't see where we added the added it to the material. Isn't he cute? I thought he was coming out super cute. And who would have thought these are little seed pots um, from the Dollar Tree? Okay, again, get some um, you know definition to him by gluing that to the seed pot. That will help your fabric to stay a little bit better. But I do want to take this minute just to thank you for being on my page. Thank you for passing it down the road for me, which means share, like, and comment. And if again, if you need supplies, just message me supplies. If you need the links, just message links, and I'll get those to you. Y'all, how cute did these come out? So super cute. I hope you guys enjoy this. So super simple. There's not any, hardly any supplies in it, and it's just super cute and affordable. And again, you can make these any size. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and I will see you next time.